Hello friends, welcome to the official AgriHelp YouTube channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the situation of rice crop in Nepal, its history, recent resources and the future strategies taken by the government for the better improvement of the crop. Before we start, make sure that you have subscribed our channel. Please watch the full of the video till the end and don't forget to comment in the comment section below. Let's get started with the introduction portion. Rice is an annual, semi-aquatic and self-pollinated crop and is the most important food crop of Nepal. Its scientific name is Oraja sativa. Basically, there are 23 species of rice, but among them, only two are commercialized, that is Oraja sativa and Oraja glabarima. Oraja glabarima, also known as African rice, is cultivated to some part of the South Africa only but rest of the world cultivates Oraja sativa, also known as Asian rice. Asian rice has three subspecies. They are Indica, Japonica, and Javanica. The subspecies Indica refers to the tropical and subtropical varieties grown throughout Indian subcontinents of South and Southeast Asia and Southern China. The subspecies Japonica is grown in the temperate region of Japan, China, and Korea, while Javanica varieties are grown in Indonesia. History of Rice Cultivation in Nepal Rice cultivation is assumed to have originated from China before 8000 before Christ, but in Nepal, its commercial production started some 500 years ago, as rice samples of 500 years ago are found in Simrangarh Bara. In 1966, total rice production was about 1.8 million tons in Nepal. The rice production increased annually. By the year 1974, the production rate of rice grew up to 2.4% up to 1989. Nepal was a huge exporter of rice at that time, with zero import for rice. In fiscal year 1975-76, Rice production was 2.6 million tons and exported worth 495.4 million rupees with zero import. But year to year, the rice export rate was decreased with increase in imports. In fiscal year 1982-83, rice export was worth 11.3 million rupees, whereas import was about 34,174 tons. By the year 1987-88, export was fallen to zero. By the year 2019, the production is 5.4 million tons and import is 750,000 tons. It is because the population growth rate is higher than the production increment of rice. In the last 50 years, the production has increased nearly 2.4 times from 2.2 million tons in 1969 to 5.4 million tons in 2019. Let's move to the present situation of rice in Nepal. In Nepal, rice accounts for the principal food grain followed by maize and wheat. The total area on the production of rice is about 1.5 million hectares with average productivity of 3.33 tons per hectare producing about 5.4 million tons of paddy rice. It contributes one-fourth of agricultural gross domestic product and about 7% of GDP. Nepal Agricultural Research Council NARC, is the sole public organization to conduct rice research in the country. Rice research in NARC is coordinated by National Rice Research Program NRRP Hardinath Dhanusa District in coordination with Regional Agricultural Research Station RARS and Central Disciplinary Divisions in Kathmandu. NARC has improved 74 varieties of rice till now. Such improved varieties can resist drought, cold, flood as well as biotic and abiotic stresses. Some of the examples are Sugandhi Dhan 1, Radha 14, Kumal 10, Kumal 4, Kumal 8, Hardinath 1, Lekali 1 and 3, Ramdhan, Shabitri, Sukhadhan 1, 2, 
3, 4, 5 and 6 and many more which are grown in different climatic conditions. Rice in Nepal is cultivated from 67 meter above sea level to about 3050 meter above sea level. The Sunsor BDC of Zumla is 3050 meter altitude is considered to be the highest place in the world to cultivate the rice. Importance of rice in Nepal Rice ranks first in the context of consumption among all the food crops. Besides this, rice in Nepal carries special cultural, religious and traditional values in the society. Here, it forms the integral part of one's life right from both right to the death right. Annaprasana, the first rice feeding ceremony, Tika, death ceremony also known as Pindas are some examples. Rice is one of the key ingredients in worshipping gods and goddesses across all religions in Nepal. Rice farming symbolizes family and societal cohesion in many parts of the country. Major Constraints of Rice Production in Nepal The Research Dialogue between NARC and IRRI, International Rice Research Institute, identified the major constraints to rice production in Nepal as Number 1st, Land Constraints Number 2nd, About 44% of rice production occurs in rain-fed condition Number 3, Inappropriate technologies especially in rain-fed areas Number 4, Problems of product quality and timely delivery of inputs. Number five, inadequate policy support. The investment in rice research is very low in Nepal, with less than 0.1% of the value of rice output being invested in rice research. Rice research program in NARC also receives less share of agricultural research budget, only 4% of total research budget, despite the vital share rice output that is 20% in National Agricultural Cross Domestic Product. At last, future strategies for rice research and development. Development and promotion of high yielding, stress tolerant and better grain quality rice varieties. Integrated crop and resource management for sustainable rice production. Development and promotion of small scale mechanization and post harvest technologies. Socio-economic and policy research to craft farmer-friendly policies Investment in rice research and extension Capacity building in strategic frontier areas of rice research Thank you for watching our video till the end. Keep watching AgriHealth channel. Thank you.